Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Chris Rollins. With me is John Richardson. Today we get to drive a 328. John, please tell me a little bit about this car. The, the cool thing about the 328 is it's been on car and driver's list for the top 25 years. It's always in the top 10. It is the standard of what everybody tries to copy in the luxury car, small luxury car brand. Man, this seat hugs you. That's what I like about the 3 Series. It's standard with sports seats. It gives you the side okay. holsters and then kind of like the X5 we did last week. It gives you the thigh extender. How do you do the thigh extender? On How's this one, like? there is a um, lever right here in the front, right in the middle. Oh, cool. There it is. It's almost got like a spring assist or something. Yes, and those are comfortable on long trips. And you wouldn't think so in a small car like this. Yeah. These are so much easier, or so much fun to travel in. Forward to go back. Forward to something. go back. Right. Push it says. Push the unlock. Push it forward. Forward. Your backup camera will come on. Ha ha. A vertical got, learning curve, as they And say. then a uh, assist lines, let you know where you're going or where you might go. Showing me where. Showing what? Okay, now what's happening there? What's that? Let's little, see right here. Yeah. That's picking up. There's a little divot in the concrete right there. Oh, wow. So it's picking it up, so it's making sure, you know, hey, that drops There's down a little there. bit there. That is crazy. It can pick up a dive, actually, even, on the ground. Are you serious? Because mm -hmm. I couldn't even see that drop. That is cool. impressive technology. Okay, now I just go back. Right. Just go back. All right. And then the turn radius on this is pretty darn good. Definitely whip in and out traffic better with this one than you can with the X5. And what you'll feel, this has got a very impressive inline four cylinder turbocharged with 240 horses and 280 feet of torque. This is a four cylinder? It's a four cylinder. And she's got a good throaty rumble to her. Wow! Never would have guessed it was a four cylinder. <laughs> That's impressive. So what drive mode are we in right now? This is comfort. Is that, so when you turn the car on, mm -hmm. that's what it Regardless of what it was in last time you drove it, it comes back on in comfort. It mode. comes on in comfort. Okay, and it, that is your standard? Um, normal suspension, okay. normal throttle intake, okay. just um, normalcy, I guess is the word you can okay. call it. And then that's when you can manipulate it by putting in the sport or putting the transmission in the sport mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. You know, last time you were telling me about the uh, Eco, uh, Eco Mode, Eco Pro. What is that actually doing to the engine? What that's doing is it's basically cutting the output um, to the motor. Uh -huh. um, it's not dropping any cylinders or anything like that. But what it's doing is it's, um, like I said, it deadens the gas pedal. Does sound good. Throaty there. It deadens the gas pedal and it does it, it like I said, limits the engine output. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the horsepower drops down to because it's 240, but it does drop from there to kind of, you know, not use all the motor output. That, that sounded so good back there. It does. Oh my gosh. That was. It doesn't even feel like we're going 70 right now. Oh. Yeah. Speed them at 75, obviously. Alright, so here's a bumpy road. Let's just, I, I'm just really curious how it does with yeah. the sporty suspension handling a and bumpy road. Normal comfort mode, because the 3 Series suspension is a little bit sportier than most because it's that in, uh, sports sedan is what they try and buy. This is actually pretty, pretty smooth. Yeah, it's a couple good bumps here. But I mean, it's not jarring. It's, no, it's no. handling it really well. And it'll feel good on this S curve here. You never, 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 you
never feel out of control of the BMW. You know, I always call the M cars a controlled chaos, but even the normal lineup, the two, three, four, five, six, or seven, even in the big seven, you never feel like you are completely out of control. Yeah. Even when you're taking a corner at 100 miles per hour, which they're designed to do. That's that's the beauty of these cars. The wheels on on I would say poorly designed technology. The 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 suspension actually instead of absorbing it they, they make the wheel start to bounce and I've right. been in cars where in the turn the the car is actually bouncing across the road yes to where you're, you're actually sliding out and that's a very unnerving feeling particularly on a unknown road exactly exactly and yeah. this just doesn't do that it, it takes a bump and drives that wheel back down yes it, it, it hugs it and absolutely even at higher speeds it will hug it so we've got a pretty good straight road here. Can we try some sportiness? Yeah, let's, uh, let's put it in sport mode here. All right. That <laughs> feels amazing. Oh, that shifting. Holy cow. Wow. It'll, it'll take these train tracks. So the engine is completely off right now. And it's telling me it says ready. I'm assuming that that's just letting me know yes. it's off, but it's it's waiting on me to hit the gas and... Exactly, for you to come off the brake pedal. So just come off the brake pedal, roll forward, and it comes right okay. back on. Um, like I was saying with the, um, the brake drying is whenever the car detects moisture in the air, it'll actually bring the brake calibers closer to the rotor for if you if you need a sudden stop and it also faster reaction time faster reaction wow time. 